स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया So now I am going to branch out and discuss an application of the calculus of variations namely the application in optimal control theory. Now we will see that in this, in this example more often than not we are going to deal with functionals which has convex integrands. So uh, solving uh, problems in optimal control theory will be a subset of whatever we have seen so far in terms of optimizing a functional. Okay. So, so what are, what are, uh, what is the this optimal control, controls uh, uh, subject? So, so calculus of variation in optimal, optimal controls. Okay. So let me. Uh, so what is this optimal control? So it is a branch of applied maths. It's a branch of applied mathematics which deals with deals with finding finding a control a control law control law for a dynamical system a dynamical system over a period of time Notice now we are going to deal with systems which have some physical significance. So now my independent variables are time instead of uh, t as in the previous discussions. So time such that such that an objective an objective function is optimized. Okay. So that is what we typically do in problems related to optimal controls. Okay, uh, an example could be our, our dynamical system could be the spacecraft and uh, the objective function is to reach from the earth to the moon in the shortest possible fuel consumption and the controls could be the various switches in the spacecraft for example the controls leading to rocket thruster and so on and so forth. Right? So uh, this is a very simple example uh, as I said the dynamical system could be our uh, spacecraft and my objective my objective function could be to reach to reach let us say from the planet earth to moon with minimum fuel consumption minimum fuel consumption and my controls could be the switches in our spacecraft right uh, so the the controls are the switches uh, in the spacecraft so it is the controls which determine which or it it is up to the user which has to determine when to switch on which switch okay so switches in the spacecraft for example uh, the rocket thruster the rocket thruster okay so so what have we got here so well another dynamical system could be uh, the nation itself and let's say the objective function is to reduce unemployment and uh, the controls could be the monetary and the fiscal policy uh, so which means the current topics of reducing unemployment could possibly uh, uh, in our country could possibly be uh, tackled with our optimal control setup so so let us now formalize our definition in the form of a mathematical statement okay so formal formal or mathematical or mathematical statement so so the optimal so let me call this as the problems in optimal control as oc so from now on i'm going to denote the optimal control problems as oc so the oc the oc problem 
is to find to find the the optimal control u star optimal control u star of t where i am going to denote i am going to denote star uh, star as my optimal uh, optimal or or extremal extremal uh, extremal uh, functions right so i am going to denote them by star which causes which causes the linear slash nonlinear nonlinear time invariant time invariant system uh, the system is denoted by the ODE which is x bar dot is equal to f of x bar comma u comma t I denote my time invariant system let us call it by 1 I, and in physical terms I call this system 1 by plant I denote my time invariant nonlinear slash linear in system by plant such that it gives me my optimal state x star to give to give the state to give the state x star that optimizes optimizes general the general performance index known as the pi performance index let me call this as pi and the index is given by the functional so i denote this by, by my expression 2 so my performance index is given by the functional j of y which is given by s of x of uh, tf x bar comma tf so this is my function plus plus integral from t0 to tf v of x bar of t comma u bar of t comma t dt right so notice that in the mathematical terms we are trying to optimizing the functional given by 2 subject to a non holonomic constraint given by 1 so the answer is we have to find these functions u given the constraints 1 so that the objective function 2 is optimized okay so so this is our performance index with with some constraints with some constraints uh, on controls on the on the control variable with some constraints on the control variable u of t and or x of t such that the final the final time t of f may be may be fixed or it is free the final time t f may be fixed or free and the final state the final state x bar of t f is is the final state is denoted by x bar of t f ok. So, so this means so we have basically introduced some physical terms so far in our uh, calculus of variations notations here ok. So, now my objective function is denoted by performance index I denoted by p i and my my uh, constraint is denoted by my plant condition which is a non holonomic constraint or the differential constraint ok. So, the, the OC problems are going to be studied in three stages they are studied studied in three stages you will see that the step by step solution methodology follows very similar to the solution methodology of constraint optimization with non holonomic constraints ok. So, it is solved in three stages so stage 1. So, stage 1 we have to find 
the unconstrained the unconstrained uh, unconstrained optimal control or optimal solution optimal means the extremal and when we look at convex integrands this extremal is the minimal so optimal or the minimal solution to the objective to the objective function right notice that the only uh, point of complicacy or the complication in our objective function is the introduction of this this function s or the cost function but later on we will see that we can also absorb this function s inside our integral we will do that shortly so we have to find the optimal solution to the objective function uh, one using calculus of variations so stage 2 is we we are going to bring the system so so the well our objective function is uh, yeah so this is let's go back our objective so we have to find the unconstrained optimal solution to the objective function uh, uh, well the objective function is is the functional itself right so uh, so this is one the performance index is 2 and yeah so my objective function is 2 here so that is that is what my my functional is okay so we bring the system we bring the system 1 we bring the system 1 which is our constraint and address uh, address the problem of finding prob the problem of finding the optimal control which is our uh, function u star of t the optimal control which 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 drives drives one which drives one and optimizes and optimizes minus uh, the objective function 2 okay drives one and optimizes the objective function 2 okay and finally the stage 3 the stage 3 is we impose we impose constraints uh, on controls we impose constraints on controls and states to to obtain my optimal control solutions right to obtain to obtain my optimal control solutions okay so let us see uh, let us see what is this three stage solution methodology but before that let me reduce this performance index in a form that we are familiar with so what i just the following so so let so we are going to look at the solution the solution of optimal control problems purely using variational techniques right because this is a course of on calculus of variations and not optimal controls so the problem is let us now note we, we note the following note that this this particular quantity the integral of t0 to t1 of ds dt of x bar comma t of dt this is going to be integral so this is a perfect uh, derivative so this will be s of x f comma t f minus s of x 0 comma t 0 right let me well let me call this as 3 now what is this function so in physical terms this function s is known as the cost function uh, this cost function per uh, objective function was introduced as early as in 1913 by a Russian mathematician named Bolza so when we when we introduce this cost function uh, this objective function including the cost function is also known as the Bolza problem okay so so what I just said so just a bit of trivia 
So, this cost function uh, s of x bar of T f comma T f uh, the introduction of this cost function is also known as the Bolza the Bolza problem first introduced in 1913 ok. okay. So, then uh, let me use let me use 3 and uh, modify and write down the modified the modified performance index or the objective function let me denote it by j 2 of u bar of t. I see that this is nothing but the integral from t 0 to t 1 of well the original objective function involved v the new objective function will involve v of x bar comma u bar comma t plus the derivative del s del t d t. So, now we have absorbed the cost function inside the integral, but uh, it turns out that this uh, functional is slightly different from our original objective uh, objective functional or the performance index. Notice that this is also equal to j of u bar of t minus a constant which is s of x of t naught comma t naught right. Okay. We call we call this expression of j 2 by 4. Now, notice that the the objective function j and j 2 they only vary by a constant, which means that the optimal solution to j will be identically equal to the optimal solution to j 2 right. So, what I just said is the following the optimal solution solution to j or j 2 are are equivalent are equivalent right and hence the optimal control problem can either be found uh, from optimizing j or j 2 right. So, so that is one observation and but we if we were to find s the optimal cost we can only find it from our j right. So, so but the optimal cost, but the optimal cost uh, is found the optimal cost is found using using j right. And also further note further note that the time derivative of s of x bar comma t comes out to be. Uh, so, this is something which is pure chain rule and we will be using it shortly in a little while. So, this is del s partial derivative with respect to x plus well times x dot of t the dot represents the time derivative plus partial s partial t. Okay. So, we will use it uh, very soon. Okay. So, now I am going to highlight this three stage methodology of the solution to the optimal control problem in uh, in a step by step format ok. So, so let us let us write down the steps in this lecture I am going to write down few steps. So, steps for solving solving uh, you know optimal control problems via uh, the calculus of variations. So, uh, we will see that if we follow the step by step methodology then almost all the problems in this topic are going to be solvable. Okay, so, so, the first step is the first step is we assume we assume optimal conditions we assume optimal conditions right. So, which means we assume that we assume that the optimal the optimal values x star slash u star uh, we opt assume the optimal values for x star slash u star for the state variables these are my state variables and for my control uh, variables respectively right respectively. And now we set up the objective function j of u star to be so this is to be the j 2 of u star the the second format from t 0 to t f of v of 
x star comma u star comma t plus d s d t of x star ok d t. And then uh, the, the second stage of this solution methodology is we take the variations of the controls and the state variable. So, take take variations of the controls control and the state the state variables ok state variables. So, which means let us fix let us fix at one point let us say x bar of t naught is x naught and uh, we are going to consider our perturbed state. So, so let let the perturbed state and control variables are as follows. So, x of t is equal to x bar of x star of t plus delta of x bar of t and u bar of t is equal to u star of t plus delta of u of t right ok. And then uh, so, so we can write down our uh, our uh, perturbed quantities. So, my my plant condition my plant condition which was the the non holonomic constraint one reduces to the following for the perturbed variable. So, which is x dot star plus delta of x dot gives me f of x bar star plus delta of x bar comma u star plus delta of u bar comma t. So, that is my plant condition and my my objective function which is my performance index is now going to be written in the form. So, j of uh, u bar is integral from t 0 to t final plus delta t f. Note that we allow my final time step to vary keeping the initial time t naught to be fixed. So, of v of x bar star plus delta of x bar plus well comma u bar star plus <coughs> delta of u bar comma t plus uh, d s d t of this whole quantity integrated with respect to t. And finally, we are going to solve these constraint problem by introducing the so called Lagrange multiplier function also known as the co-state vectors. So, so I am going to write down the final step in this uh, in this lecture. This solution methodology will continue in our next lecture. So, the final step is introduce introduce time invariant time invariant system as well the system is system is 1 which is my my plant my plant condition time invariant system which is 1 as a constraint as a constraint via the Lagrange the Lagrange multiplier method right. Let me call this as lambda of t also known as the co the co state vector ok. So, that is my Lagrange multiplier function ok. So, we are going to let me introduce uh, let me introduce the augmented performance index for with this constrained situation. So, my augmented or my constrained performance index. So, these are all the new terms, but the mathematical equivalent of these new terms are something we have already looked at in our previous lectures. So, the augmented performance index at uh, at optimal conditions at optimal conditions are given by let me denote this new functional as j a of u bar star this is given to be the integral from t 0 to t f of v of x bar star comma u bar star t plus 
the partial s partial x dot x. Uh, well, now I have used our chain rule. So, this is times x dot star, this is evaluated at the start condition plus partial s partial t evaluated again at the start condition. Okay. So, this quantity is nothing but the total derivative of s with respect to t evaluated at start condition. So, this quantity uh, this quantity plus lambda of t times f of x star comma u star comma t minus minus x bar star. So, that is my this quantity inside this curly bracket is my uh, is my uh, non holonomic constraint. So, let me uh, let me just uh, use a slightly smaller uh, underlining mechanism. So, this is this. So, th I have now introduced. So, this is a grand uh, bracket and now I have introduced the plant condition inside this this functional and now what we do is my my perturbed this is the final statement my perturbed augmented uh, performance index can now be written as follows. So, j a at any perturbed value u bar turns out to be integral from t 0 to t f plus delta t f of v of x bar star plus delta x bar comma u x bar u star plus delta of u bar comma t uh, plus plus partial s partial x uh, evaluated at the start condition or the optimal condition uh, times x dot x dot star will become x dot uh, well the condition x dot star plus delta x. So, we are perturbing about. So, this is the perturbed augmented performance index about about the, the point x star and u star. Okay. So, comma. So, this is my perturbed point plus the partial s partial t evaluated at the start condition and finally, plus my constraint lambda times f evaluated at x bar star plus delta x bar comma u star plus delta u comma t minus minus uh, this condition which is perturbed now. So, x bar star dot plus delta x bar uh, delta x bar well the original value was at dot. So, we put a dot here as well as a dot here okay. and that completes this whole uh, description completes our step 3. So, in the next set of steps and in the next lecture I am going to introduce well we have already seen that I am going to introduce the difference of the perturbed value with the original or the extremal value and then from there we look at uh, what is the first variation of uh, th from this difference and from there we find the optimal control solution u star and the state variable x star. Uh, so, uh, thank you very much so far for listening. Uh, so, thanks a lot.